we are getting ready to hop into the leaders group and do a little Facebook Live. I try to do this every Tuesdays together and it's just become sort of a, a habit. And, and for those of you guys who don't know, so our leader group, we have just over 500, actually, wow. We, we have now 600 people in our leader group. So these are our local chapter leaders that get together um, with their groups and it's co-leaders and leaders in the group. Uh, and ultimately it's their space to ask questions and to get support, to get access to resources, things like that. So I just try to go in there and encourage everybody and get everyone excited because it's Tuesdays together. I forgot that I had, <laughs> I forgot that I had the little slider. Oh yeah. On my laptop and I was like, mm my camera not working. Hi leaders, it's Natalie here. I am so excited to be hopping on because today is our favorite day of the month. It's time for Tuesdays together. And the video froze. Okay, wait, we might have to. Hi leaders, happy Tuesdays together. This is take two for me because our internet cut out. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this time it works. I just wanted to hop on uh, to just, and it froze again. All right, we're going on the phone. This is take three. Officially take three and I'm hoping this one does not freeze, but I just wanted to hop on leaders to say happy Tuesdays together I know that this month is a big one for all of us. The topic is networking and relationships So it's something that is super close to our hearts and that all of us care a lot about with every Tuesdays together There's a little something I like to share those of you guys who know what's coming uh, still hang in there with me but it's this idea that we all have as leaders where we feel this obligation to impact as many people as possible. And we have chapters that have two people getting together. We have chapters that have 100 people getting together. But the really important thing to remember today as you walk into your Tuesdays together is that your job is not to gather the gr biggest group of creatives that you can. It's not to make your chapter the largest. It's not to Post the perfect Instagram photo. The real goal of today, and you guys know this, is to walk in and to impact one person. If you can do that, if you can step into the space and find one person that you can impact positively, that you can encourage, that you can support, that you can just breathe life into, that is a job well done. It's not about the size, it's not about how many people show up, um, it's not even about whether you stay on topic or not. It's about building a community and it starts one person at a time. But reach out if you need anything at all. All right, bye guys. Nice. Done. It's always like one of the big things that I think a lot of people struggle with, um, with their chapters in general, is this, it's the same thing we struggle with in business, which is they look out at the big chapters. So they look out and we've got a chapter in Houston where they have multiple meetings happening throughout the day. And uh, the groups are, are huge, right? And you look out and you see these big chapters and maybe you only have three people showing up at your gathering or maybe you only have four. And the one thing that I really like to drive home is that it's not about what it looks like on social media. It's not about having 100 people show up to a meeting. It's about the one connection you make with one person and the life that you impact by being kind and by giving and by um, offering advice. And community isn't built by thousands of people hearing about something. Like real community is built one person at a time. And I think we live in a world where we are always are so focused on virality and our K factor and how we're growing and expanding. But in reality too, you've got to take a step back and realize that the strongest communities are really truly built one person at a time. Morning guys, it is Tuesdays together today. So it's the second Tuesday of the month, my favorite day of the entire month. And we're gearing up for our chapters to meet all around the world and it should be a lot of fun. The topic this month is relationships and networking, which is a huge piece of our heart because ultimately Rising Tide was founded on the idea that entrepreneurship can be incredibly lonely. So what we want to do is we want to gather people together to talk about something they care about in business and ultimately help them to build relationships. Here in San Francisco, we're hosting our meeting a little bit later this evening. So before that, I'm hopping on to talk to our leaders on a leader live. And then I will also just be kind of like throughout the day, cheering people on, checking out what Tuesdays together chapters are meeting and just serving as support as best I can to help the community. It is. We have a weekly marketing huddle this morning. We have a massive team brainstorm for something fun that we're working on, which will be great. We're reconnecting with the PR firm today to start to talk about plans for Q3 and what we'll be doing there. Uh, we have to create some Instagram content and we're actually already thinking a month ahead for next month's guide for the Rising Tide Society. So we're talking um, a little bit about that too, but it's a long day. Like I don't think we'll get out of here probably until like eight o'clock. 7.30, 8 o'clock. Woo! Yeah. That's gonna be fun. It'll be fun though. It's like a good day. It's my favorite day. Yeah.
product placement. Yep, yep, beautiful. What are we, what are we celebrating right now? Congratulations. Oh, thank you. How do you feel? I feel pretty good. So I'm an employee now. Whoa. <laughs> Things happen fast around here. <laughs> you are officially part of the fam. Congratulations. Thank you. High five, everyone. No, I was going to hit the lens. <laughs> Tuesdays Together is starting in just a few minutes. We're gonna go ahead and get our cheese plates set up, our banners hung up, and then everyone should start getting here in just a little bit. We're super excited, this month's topic is a big one, and it should be a lot of fun. A really relaxing meeting here in HQ, we, the last one we did was huge, a ton of people showed up. This one I hope is a little bit smaller, a little more intimate. It should be filled with incredible conversation and just really good friends. This is Crystal's first wine oh. opening. Oh, you nope, you got this. Yeah, you're ready. You're ready. Is it gonna make the pop noise? No, that's just champagne, but it's okay, it's okay. You got this, you got this. Yeah! My first one! She did it! Kent, is that really how you did your name tag? Yeah. I don't what is what, what, I don't how did you know. do that? No, yours is Mine is normal. Mine's normal. Yeah, I would say. If normal's really what you want to call that, that's fine. Oh, now you're throwing shade. Yeah, I know. Coming from the person who wrote their name so small that I had to squint just to read it. Because you definitely don't know my name. I, I don't know your name, Baxter. What is your name? <laughs> June 1st, 2015, we had, I think, six or seven cities up and down the Eastern Seaboard that our friends wanted to, to gather with. And then within two to three months, we had over 100 chapters and it became a full-time job very quickly. Like it very quickly required overnight. It felt like overnight. Basically, it grew and grew and grew. And so what ended up happening was we had to find a path to sustainability. So we were like, okay, we could charge membership and we could have everybody who wants to be part of Rising Tide pay a monthly fee. But the issue with that is that, and I don't know how much you guys know, but like, I, I grew up single mom family. And you know, like I worked from the time I was able to, 13, 12 babysitting, that's probably illegal, but I was. So I know what it means to not want to put an extra amount every month on your family when you're trying to build a business. Like I can't imagine. So we were really against the idea of doing monthly membership. We wanted to keep it free. That was like our biggest heart and intention. So first thing we started doing, we got great sponsors and partnerships. So we partnered with companies like Honeybook. Show It has been so supportive of us. Like a bunch of these different creative companies that would be willing to sponsor in exchange for like an email blast or a campaign or being in the monthly guide or things like that. The reality though is for us, that felt like it was uh, like, okay, not that I have been on Tinder or know anything about Tinder, but my second shooter, Maddie, was like all about Tinder at the time and just the idea of like swiping constantly to try to find right, the right partnership. Like you don't know who's gonna come up next. You don't know right. if they're the way they pr present themselves. And companies and building partnerships, it's like that. You need trust, you need some kind of form of um, confidence and relationship building with that company before you feel good about getting into a partnership with them. And so we had good experiences, we had bad experiences, and finally, um, back, like by the fall of 2015, we found Honeybook. And we actually came out here, we flew out here for the first two days together in San Francisco. They brought us out, they hosted it here. Um, and within minutes, like we just realized that there was such a kindred connection with them. Um, and I had met company after company before, and we walked in here and it was like, we spoke the same language. We cared about the exact same things. We had the same core values. Um, it just fit. Like that's the best way to try it. Like it literally just felt like it fit and it fit right away.